All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the slide vault. Now, I know this has been an old tech for a while, and a lot of people have already put tutorials up, but I've watched a few. I feel like some of the tutorials kind of like grazed over the mechanic, acting like you already knew what like vaults do and everything. And then I started thinking to myself that people don't even know how to fast vault on everything. And that really comes into play with doing it. So basically, the slide vault is just basically doing this, where you go up to a vault and you get into a weird animation stop right before you're about to vault and you get into it so the main way that i have attempted to learn this was through getting started practicing with the bots because it's way more simple doing it in here than doing it in game where you have an objective to do and here it doesn't matter if you lose but what you really need to understand with vaults is that there's always a specific time when you run straight at them where the vault will appear if you look down in the middle of your screen the bottom of the middle you see when this flicks up that's when you want to let go completely of W and then hit space. So for this, I put up my keyboard just now and I'm going to show you as soon as I see this, then I let go of W and I hit space. I, uh, I sprint with my right click, by the way, I don't sprint with shift. It's the same thing. You just keep holding sprint. All right. And then you let go of W and then you hit it. And once you get it, it's really simple. So one thing that really helped me when learning to do this was learning exactly when the space bar prompt comes up or whatever your vault key is when you're running straight at it. Usually, the best way to find out where it is is going to a T and L. So we're gonna find a T and L real quick. And actually it's perfect because it's right here. So if you go onto the L side of a T, you will see when you run straight at it around here, right where I am right here, you'll start seeing the space prompt. So you see that little wooden plank, you'll see it around here. Watch, run straight at it. But you see it a little bit after so i was actually wrong it's more like right here so it's about halfway on the l that's when it'll show up if you're running straight at it as long as you have some movement and some distance it will show up at the exact same place every single time it doesn't matter if you're looking backwards it will still show up right around here you saw i was like right in the middle if you do this completely correctly you'll get the animation but you can also get another animation if you do it half correctly, maybe if you hit space too fast or you don't let go of W in time. You can also hit W and S when you're doing it. I prefer to just let go of W, but when I was first learning it, hitting W and S kind of helped me out. And the killer just leave me, please. Also, pay attention to my timing when I let go of W. It's almost instant where I hit space. But yeah, honestly, that's what helped me. I didn't really see a lot of people talk about where the space prompt egg. Can you please move? <laughs> that is actually creepy. As soon as I see the space prompt come up, I will just hit space immediately. Let go of W and then hit space. You can do this on controller. I don't know really how the mechanic works. I could probably learn it and then show you. Um. You know what? I will show you on controller. <laughs> I just came up with it in my head. I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna attempt to do this on controller. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same way. But we'll have to restart my game for that. But this is how you do it on keyboard and mouse. I'm gonna switch to the controller part next. I'm gonna attempt to learn that. I'm assuming I can. I did play a lot of Dead by Daylight on controller. I was on console for a while, so yeah. I guess I could show you that as well. And also, when you get closer, it will show a little bit closer to the window. So the closer you are the later you have to wait towards the window to let go of W and then hit space. The farther you are, the farther back it will come, but it will always be at the exact same spot when you run from a certain distance at a certain time in a straight line. It will always be around this distance right here. Now let's get to the controller part. All right, I am now on controller. As you can see, I have no control of my camera movement. That's because I haven't played controller in a really long time, but I also, this matters to you. I'm like 100% sensitivity. And I also play on 115 frames, so if you are on console and you're playing at 60 FPS, you might want to click a little bit early when it comes to this. But yeah, I'm going to actually practice and see how I can do it. This will be my first time ever trying the slide vault on controller. Okay, I already got it. So what you want to do... <laughs> that Okay, so that's, that's pretty easy still. It's really just timing, all right? So... You see, I'm on controller right here. I'm still showing you I'm on controller. What you want to do is keep holding on to sprint, right? You want to keep holding on to it. Don't let go of sprint. You want to just let go of your left stick right when you see it. 
maybe a little bit earlier since there's still going to be some movement. And then you want to hit R1 or your vault button, whatever you have it on. So right there, I did it a little bit too early because I got a slow walk animation. What I was talking about in the keyboard and mouse demonstration. So it's the same thing. It's a little bit more difficult to me because I'm not a control player. But yeah, you want to just completely let go of the left stick. Got it. Yeah, now I have it in my brain. It's pretty much locked now. And I feel like once you get it a few times, especially for me, I got it almost immediately after that. Like, as soon as I got it once, it just helped completely. But yeah, that's how you do it. You can do it from any direction. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to do it from... Oh, I actually can. It feels pretty normal on controller because, you know, the movement is a little bit easier on controller. Because you have full 360 movement compared to keyboards and one directional. But yeah, it took me about like a couple of minutes to learn, but that's just because I knew the simple mechanics of it. And I have played on controller like for about 500 hours in my Dead by Daily career. So it was pretty easy for me to adapt to it. But when I was learning on keyboard and mouse initially, it was kind of difficult. So I hope this tutorial helps you out. This is the type of stuff that helped me. And um, yeah, you guys enjoyed. See you guys later and peace out gamers.